The Tao is the chief's nephew, and he's decided to perform a painful bloodletting ceremony. Bloodletting is practiced by all the Shingu Indians, a ritual that dates back centuries. The scratching implement is made from sharp fish teeth. Tatao's wife, Arika, has also chosen to perform the healing rite. It's exactly the same for women. They also endure the scratching with no show of pain. After the exchange ceremony, it's time for the wrestling contest. Wrestlers are fighting to keep both their chief and the spirits happy. They're also young men, and as competitive young men, they want to win. From an early age, all young men are taught basic wrestling skills. It teaches them the discipline and customs of the tribe. Wrestling, they believe, educates them in the ways of life. Losing and winning are momentary states. You will always stand up to fight another day. Stepping into the ring is also stepping into an ancient lineage. After the break, the women not only show the men how to fight, but they also perform the most beautiful dance of all to bring back the Pecky Festival. Like the bread making, they do this together, usually outside the houses. Solidarity is strong between the women, united by one overriding fact of life, hard work. The women usually marry around the age of 16 traditionally to a man chosen by their family. But times are changing. 